Our WTOC investigates team is continuing to look into the state of Savannah's historic district. Last week, our Madeline Hunt told you about the National Park Service downgrading the district's landmark status to threatened in 2018. Since then, residents, neighborhood groups, and the tourism and business industry have all been working together to change that. Tonight, our Aria Janelle is speaking to the business and tourism community about their efforts and also giving us a surprising update on the historic district status. In the last 72 hours, the National Park Service has confirmed with me that Savannah's historical district is now not listed in a threatened category. In fact, they tell me they are reviewing their whole process. This is a change from when we first started working on this story. Now, I also spoke with residents, tourists, business leaders, and the tourism community. They tell me they're looking for a place where history and preservation and creating a thriving tourism community can live harmoniously. When you bring the tourism into Savannah, you bring in wealth, and then you also bring in um, a collection of uh, understanding of the old with the new. Savannah wouldn't be here today if it wasn't for historic preservation and that understanding. Ghost to City is a bucket list destination for many people around the world. And according to Visit Savannah, Longwoods International is reporting that Savannah played host to 9.7 million overnight person trips in 2022. This is a beautiful place to be creative, to be you, so much hospitality out here. In 2018, the National Park Service deemed Savannah's historical district as threatened concerning many who love this city. People are scared of that word, right? The word threatened to them is like this intense word, when in reality, it just means that there are things that we need to work on. According to Michael Owens, the president of the Tourism and Leadership Council, a lot has been done over the past few years. I think it's a larger community effort on things like archaeology uh, ordinance, which we passed. There was questions about preserving the pavers that we have in different areas. I think there's been good work that's done on that. It's not one problem. It was a bunch of things all at the same time. Another issue that was brought up in the 2018 NPS review was the the number of large scale hotels in the historic district. As we previously reported, bed tax record data from the city shows 57 hotels and inns are currently operating within the historic landmark districts, roughly one square mile. Now, since the NPS designation, the city has created the hotel overlay district. It runs from River Street to Gwinnett. The goal is to help manage and regulate hotel construction so that hotels are only being put up in areas that have been deemed commercial and not residential. If we overdevelop or we don't move at a pace where we're going to keep everybody here, we don't have anything for the visitors to come see. So that's why we have our partnerships with uh, our entities like the tourism leadership, our downtown neighborhood, our Victorian neighborhood. According to Visit Savannah, the city's increased lodging demand is up 9.2 percent for hotels and 3.3 percent for short-term rentals. Savannah also generated $44.5 million in bed tax collections in 2020. And that money goes back into the community. According to Burt Brantley, the CEO of the Savannah Chamber of Commerce, the work to better preserve the district hasn't stopped. But we've asked for help because I think, you know, frankly, we, we believe that we have made a, a, a ton of progress. That help not only coming from local officials in the city, but also Congress. Our Congressman uh, Buddy Carter's office has been engaged in a conversation with them as well. Uh, about this this designation and about mm -hmm. the threatened nature of it. I reached out to Carter's team to see how those conversations with MPS have been going, and I received this statement saying, quote, Savannah is the hostess city of the South because generations have dedicated themselves to building and sharing our rich culture and history. I am proud to join with the city of Savannah and our historic preservation partners to continue that tradition and to free ourselves of the misguided, threatened label placed on our national historic landmark district. I also reached out to the National Park Service on Monday. They sent me this statement saying in part, quote, the National Park Service is currently evaluating the NHL condition monitoring program nationwide as a part of its commitment to providing technical assistance in the form of helpful and constructive feedback. They went on to say while the quote monitoring program undergoes this review, NPS is neither updating nor assigning condition categories to properties. Meaning right now, Savannah's historic district is not categorized as anything. It is just a national historical landmark district. I also asked the NPS when this change was made and what things they're looking to change in their review process. 
but I haven't heard back. I think a fresh look at these things makes a lot of sense. And uh, especially when it's so important and so emotional uh, to how we feel about our city and our downtown area. Uh, we want Savannah to retain the uniqueness and the specialness uh, that it has. Nobody's looking to, uh, to ruin that. Well, now it's my opportunity to have a conversation with everybody at the table to let them know that, you know, we do have development, but we're going to have smart development. We're going to slow down a lot of things so that the residents do have a voice and give them that conversation. We love this place. We love the history, the architecture, and the intangible thing that makes Savannah so special to everyone. Well, historic preservation is always so important, and Savannah is a shining star. For WTOC, I'm Aria Jadel. The city of Savannah is also working to preserve and protect our national historic landmark district. They tell WTOC they have new initiatives that include seeking to expand the size of the national historic landmark district and hiring a preservation officer to oversee the protection and expansion of the NHL as well as other historic sites citywide. Take a live look outside right now. This is going.